Hey, what's up guys? It's Casey the Rockstar Flipper. Today is Wednesday. It's May 25th, 2016, and I just got back uh, from Salvation Army, which uh, Wednesday's here where I am in Florida, Central Florida, uh, Gulf Coast is half off days on Wednesday. So uh, when I end my afternoons, um, it's 3.30, you know, going on four o'clock now. So uh, that's where I like to stop. And I know a lot of you uh, in the group and in and, and our Facebook groups and, and all my comments and messages and emails tell me that you don't have Goodwill uh, bin stores near you, so where should you go to shop? So I always recommend if Goodwill outlet stores, Goodwill retail, excuse me, or Salvation Army, or your local thrift stores, which should be pretty much everywhere as long as you're near a, you know, a decent sized town, uh, if they've got coupons or half off days, then you should definitely, definitely take advantage of that. I'm not saying don't go on regular days, you can still score, you know, good deals, but make sure you get there on half off days or, or you know, 25% off days or whatever they offer in your area. But um, Salvation Army, uh, from what I understand, I've got friends in California, friends in Texas, friends in Michigan, uh, friends in Maryland, New York, all over the place that I deal with or, or business associates or people that I know. Uh, they all have half off days. It varies from weekends to weekdays, but there's always a day. So check that out, you know, make a calendar and make sure you get there. So today's video I wanted to show you when you do get to those half off days and you, uh, you get through the crowds and the long lines, which it was pretty long today, uh, just how much money you can make and, and what you can score from some of these thrift stores and Salvation Armies. Now, I was in the store about 45 minutes today. I was kind of on a time crunch. I have something to do tonight. And the store was, it's always busy on half off days, but it was really busy today. Uh, I should have videoed the parking lot. There must have been like 500 cars. It was nuts. It was like the mall on Black Friday. So, um, so I didn't want to spend too much time in there. Plus, I knew that I had to be out quick, so I, the line was probably... I don't know, 25 or 30 people. I stood in line for uh, close to 25 minutes to get checked out. I only shopped for maybe 20 or 30 minutes, so I was in there less than an hour. And I'll show you guys what I got. I'm gonna flip the camera around and we'll go through all the uh, the pieces that I found. And uh, I only got a chance to go through all the men's side. Uh, I didn't get to go through my normal kids, because you guys know I love kids' clothes, and I didn't go through the women's clothes. There was a hundred women literally on all the aisles of women's clothes, so I just, steered clear from that. But if you don't have bin stores and you had all day, because I spent four hours at the bin store today, you could spend all day in the in the Salvation Army and fight people and get two or three times what I got. So let's check it out, guys. Let's see what I got. All right, so, yep, we're riding in the I-8 today. Again, it's fun to drive, so couldn't help myself. So I got one thing that was not clothing, um, and this is a Yankee Candle Lilac Blossom. This is a, um, what they call a diffuser, I think. Uh, and if you flip it over, yeah, there it is. It's a highly, where's that at? Highly fragranced reed diffuser. Um, so the price that the Salvation Army had on this was $4.99. It's half off day, so I got it for two bucks and 50 cents. And this is brand new. It doesn't look like it's ever been used or opened. And the brand new ones, uh, the used ones were selling for 10, 12. The brand new ones were selling for 20. So this should go for 19 bucks. Uh, and you know, I should net around 14 or 15 and I paid 250. So pretty good score there. 10, $12 profit on a $2.50 item. All right, let's keep going guys. Let's see what we got. Pretty much every shirt I bought except two was a uh, $1.99 with half off. So I paid a dollar for pretty much everything. I'll show you the two that I didn't pay a dollar for, um, when we get to them. Uh, this is one of my comic shirts. You guys know I love the funny ones. Anything with funny graphics on it, I'll pretty much always pick up if it's a dollar or less. Uh, this one says I used to have a six pack and it's a six pack right here and they're talking about beer, of course. Um, paid a dollar for this and I'll show you guys. There's the sticker and it's half off day so I paid 99 cents for this thing. Um, just like to give you guys an idea of what I pick up when I go in there. Um, to these stores. So, you know, that six pack shirt is probably eight bucks, nine bucks. Uh, this is a Voodoo Bourbon Street. If you guys have never heard of this, it's New Orleans. Bourbon Street is obviously New Orleans. Um, this is a Dr. Ray's Magic Elixir in the French Quarter. Uh, cool little shirt, good graphics. Again, it was a dollar after the 50% off. Um, I reckon this shirt will probably sell for about 10 bucks. That's a pretty good graphic shirt, and I've had success with those Voodoo shirts in the past. I've gotten quite a few of them. Um, let's move on. So this is a really good shirt. Um, I paid a dollar fifty for this one. This one was three dollars, so buck fifty. I think she actually rang it up as ninety-nine cents, but it should have been a dollar fifty. Um, this is a 1D shirt, One Direction, and it's a concert shirt from 2013. 
Um, it's got nothing on the back, but it's got all five of the boys who are now uh, broken up. Of course, they're not a group anymore. Um, uh, I'm not familiar, but I think it's Harry left or one of them left. Maybe not Harry, but one of them left. Anyways, so people really will collect this and like that all five of them are together. This is easily a $10 shirt. Easy. I might I might be able to squeeze a couple more out of it. I'm not sure, but we'll, uh, we'll check it out. Um, this was kind of cool. I like this shirt. Uh, good graphics. Again, $1.99. Um, Snoopy Surf Shop. Snoopy stuff sells really well on eBay, especially shirts. It says no dogs allowed on this beach, and you've got Snoopy carrying a surfboard. It's yellow, it's in great shape, it's got really good graphics, and it's a size large, which is typically my, uh, my most popular size of any shirts that I buy. So, really good shirt, like Snoopy, $10 shirt probably. This one I kind of took a stab at. It was funny. Um, I don't know if it'll sell, but maybe, hopefully. Uh, peanut butter jelly time. It's cool. It may or may not sell. Even if I get five or six bucks out of it, I'd be happy. A uh, dollar for that one. Um, it's just filler for the store, and it's, you know, eventually it'll be profit once it sells. So we'll make something. I couldn't leave it go. It's kind of cool. Um, this shirt will sell. You guys know these shirts sell really, really well. This is a Maker's Mark shirt. It is what it isn't, but what's good about it that'll make it sell quickly is it's long sleeve, and I paid a dollar for it. Uh, it's the handmade gift they'll actually want, is what it says. And it's got a picture of the Maker's Mark round bottle. It's a special edition bottle. It's not the normal one you buy. It still has the candle wax that comes down. But this is a very special bottle of Maker's you can look up. Very expensive bottle. A normal bottle of Maker's will run you around 30, 40 bucks. I believe this bottle is north of 100. So somebody that enjoys Maker's collects it. Uh, or collects bar memorabilia or liquor or alcohol memorabilia will love this shirt and they will scoop this thing up. 10, 12 bucks. No question about it. Um, bar memorabilia and bar shirts sell really, really well. Especially if they have good graphics. The Crystal Skull shirt that I bought, I showed you guys a couple weeks ago, sold for $15, paid a dollar for it. Um, this is just a typical Nike dry fit shirt. Plain graphics, but it's Nike and it's dry fit, so it's 10 bucks all day. Make sure you get those. Um, let's go to the next one. Let's see what else we got here. Um, this is a Lacoste shirt. And this was $1.99. I can't believe it. They usually price Lacoste higher. It's got the alligator on it. Lacoste Sport. Good tag. So, good condition. There it is. $1.99, got it for a dollar. Lacoste shirts, make sure you keep an eye out for those with the alligator. They sell really well. That's probably a $10 to $12 shirt. All these shirts are $10 to $12. Now, this one I don't expect to sell. I may actually give this to a friend. It's not in the best condition, but it was too cool to pass on. It's $1.99, and it says, it's a Stormtrooper, and it says, I had friends on that Death Star. Pretty cool for a Star Wars collector. You can see it's not in the best condition. He's got a green little tear, but... um. I picked it up because I have a friend that loves Star Wars. I've already put it on her Facebook and she's in love with it. I may just give it to her. I may try to sell it. If I did sell it, somebody would still buy it even with that little bit of wear and tear on it right there. They would still buy it for eight or ten bucks. Star Wars collectors buy anything all the time. You guys like that blue that glows in the car? It's pretty cool, huh? Um, Alright, the next one that we got... Uh, I've sold like three of these, so every time I see them for a dollar, I get it. It's the bride and groom that says game over. Uh, it's a gag gift for a, a groom or bride to be. Uh, people buy these all day. The last one sold for $8.99, so nine bucks. Uh, I paid a dollar. Uh, shipping and fees is about four bucks, so net five, four dollar profit on a dollar purchase. Uh, this was the expensive purchase of the day. This is one of them. This shirt was uh, eight dollars, so I paid four. And this is one I have some experience with. It's uh, Vintage Italia. And uh, it's a really nice dress shirt. I don't know if you guys can see this, this dress shirt here. I'm in the car trying to do this because the dogs are going nuts inside, so I don't want to make a video inside. But uh, it's really good quality. It's really good condition. And vintage, anything vintage Italia, keep that, that brand and name uh, in mind, uh, sells really well. So I paid four for this. I'm gonna ask $19.99 for this shirt. I think it'll sell. Uh, the worst case, it will sell for $15. I, I won't take anything less than $15 for this shirt. It will sell for $15. Um, and will net me $10. So I paid four. So I expect to make, you know, six to eight bucks at least. I hope to make around 10 on it. I hope it sells for 20. 
Uh, let's keep going. We only got a few more, so I'm gonna make this video as short as possible. Um, an Express shirt, purple, all kinds of cool graphics. This one was a dollar as well. Dollar right there. So Express shirts, always look for Express shirts. Even if they're plain, they'll sell, but if they've got these cool graphics, uh, Express shirts will sell really, really quick with good graphics on them. Um, I think this is like a, uh, let's check this out. Every day I'm shuffling one of my comic shirts. It's obviously Elmo and Cookie Monster. Pretty cool. Not sure how well that one will do, but we'll make a buck or two off of it at least. You guys know I do a lot of volume, so. Um, another tour shirt. I sell a lot of these, and this one sells really well. Um, this is Kenny Chesney's Sun City Carnival Tour from 2009. It's got a full body shot of him, so the graphics are really, really good, so I think it'll sell. It's from his younger days. Um, you're talking about seven, seven, eight years ago. So I don't see any problem with it. Uh, it's got all the tour dates. Again, him on the back. So this one should sell eight, ten bucks. Uh, I've sold quite a few Kenny Chesney shirts. They seem to be very popular. Um, and this looks like the last, maybe one or two more. Um, this one I probably shouldn't have bought. It's a tank top for tap out. Um, it's got the cut sleeves and I don't know if it came this way or they did this. I think it came this way. It's Extreme MMA, New York and South Beach. I usually buy all the tap out and, and MMA stuff. So we'll see. Uh, I took a shot at that one. So uh, yeah. Yep, that looks like it guys. So let's total up. Um, and actually I have the receipt right here. I'll show you guys what I spent. Um, here it is. Uh, we spent, there it is, $22.91 today, today's date, May 25th, there's all the shirts, $22.91, um, and I'll assume, I'll just do a, a worst case scenario, let's just say that um, the MMA shirt that I took a chance on, probably not going to sell, we'll see, Kenny Chesney, we should net around 6 bucks on him. Uh, every day I'm shuffling, let's just say five, that's $11. The Express shirt should net six, that's 17. Uh, this shirt should net around 14, the Italia shirt at least, so that's 31. The Game Over shirt will get a six, that's 47. Or, I'm sorry, 37. Um, the Star Wars shirt, let's just say I give that away. The Lacoste shirt will get us about eight bucks, so that's 45. Um, what do we got next? The Nike Dry Fit shirt, about six, that's 51. The Maker's Mark will get us about eight, that's 59. That's a long sleeve shirt too, somebody will love that, that Maker's Mark shirt. The Peanut Butter Jelly, let's say it doesn't sell. Snoopy Surf Shop, six bucks, it's 65. Um, the One Direction, six, 71. The Voodoo Shirt, six, 77. The Six Pack Shirt, five bucks, that's 82. And we should get around at least 10 out of this, so that's 92. Um, and if any one of those other shirts sell, we should get around 100 bucks. So, and that's net, that's after fees and shipping and everything. Um, so we spent $20 to make right around, you know, $100. So I think it's no problem to make $75 profit here. I'm hoping I can make around $100 profit. So basically, you know, you're five times your money, at least four times your money, if not five times. And I only spent an hour inside of the uh, the Salvation Army. So probably take me about an hour to post all this. Maybe, maybe two. We'll call it two to be safe. So that's three hours. And the total packing time, if it all sold right now and I had to ship all of it, just say an hour. So four hours to make a hundred bucks. It's $25 an hour. It's not my greatest day, but it is, you know, things to look for in the Salvation Army. Now I was on a time crunch. If I could have spent another hour in there, I definitely could have picked up, you know, two or three times that amount. So for those of you that don't have a Goodwill Ben store and don't have the, you know, the available resources that some of us have, just make sure you get to these half off days and buy as much as you can, you know, plan to be there for, you know, three or four hours and you can get yourself, you know, I bought what, maybe 20 items, 15, 20 items. You can buy 50, 60 items. And all of a sudden, instead of a hundred dollars in profit, you can make three or $400 in profit for, you know, maybe six or seven hours. Now you're up from $25 an hour to 50, 60, $70 an hour. So that's my tip for today. Hit those Salvation Army and thrift stores on half off days and, and coupon days. 
and uh, and make some money, guys. So I'll get this video up. Make sure to hit the social media links down there. I see a lot of you uh, are subbing on YouTube and also following us on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and liking our post and, and liking the Facebook page. So I really appreciate that, guys. Thanks for going over to those social media and taking a minute to uh, to follow us on those. Uh, that means a lot because that way I can post more content for you guys and you have other places to go check it out in case you're not uh, on YouTube all the time. Um, with that said, I will uh, get this up and posted for you guys. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you know where to leave them and uh, we'll catch you next time. Thanks guys. See ya.